Camilla Parker Bowles previously revealed her feelings over the scrutiny she faced after getting back together with Prince Charles in the late 1990s while he was still married to Princess Diana. When Camilla Parker Bowles and Prince Charles rekindled their romance in the early 90s while Charles was still married to Princess Diana, the British public was hostile towards the idea. The royal couple first met back in 1971, with reports that Charles fell in love with her then, and rekindled their relationship soon after Charles and Diana divorced. In an Uncovered magazine article, the Duchess of Cornwall discussed the scrutiny she faced after getting back together with the Prince of Wales. In the article, Camilla spoke about her tumultuous past with the public concerning her relationship with Prince Charles, particularly after reports emerged saying the couple continued their relationship while he was married to the late Diana. She candidly told the Mail on Sunday's U magazine in 2017 that she wouldn't wish the public scrutiny that she has faced on her worst enemy. The Duchess of Cornwall said, It was horrid. It was a deeply unpleasant time and I wouldn't want to put my worst enemy through it. Prince Charles' wife described how she became a virtual prisoner in her own home, after it was revealed that she and Prince Charles had resumed their relationship. The Duchess claimed that she was unable to leave the house for around a year while they dealt with the fallout from the announcement. As well as that during that time, she spent time reading and learning to paint. She said, I couldn't really go anywhere. But the children came and went as normal, they just got on with it, and so did great friends. She recalls how her children used to count the number of paparazzi hiding in her garden, with binoculars kept in her bathroom. Her British upbringing helped her to get through it and to keep a stiff upper lip and not complain. She added, You've got to laugh through most things. You do have to swallow and pinch yourself very hard to not laugh. There are situations where it's very difficult not to lose it completely, especially if something goes terribly wrong and everybody sits there for a split second.